to license it. Meep, meep. Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Matchbox Makeovers. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a display of my recent vacations hobby store purchases. I live in Switzerland but we just got home from a wonderful tour of my wife's home country, Austria, and I discovered a new store, a dollar store, euro store, think pound store, which has the regular supply of kind of cheap stuff, but most exciting for me was my first opportunity, believe it or not, to go peg hunting. Basic Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars, nothing tremendously special here, but a real surprise and a happy time for me. Strangely, it's just not part of the Swiss culture to see these. It's a very affluent country where I live, and you'll have no problem finding a one-to-one -one Ferrari, but good luck sourcing a 1-64 to <laughs> toy-sized car. So I was let loose in here, and you can see I didn't hold back too much. I've got a lot of trucks, especially some exotics, fantasy cars just for the big engines that I'll take out a couple of donors for wheel swaps and yeah it's the first time since I started the hobby a year and a half ago I've actually been able to walk into a store and look at them on the pegs. That was a great start for me and these Teddy stores are all over Austria and Germany not far from where I live. Austria is an adjacent country but this will keep me going for quite some time, as you can imagine. I think there's a 118 cars here. I don't collect them, I'm not going to display them. I'm going to cut them up. If you like this kind of video, I hope you'll subscribe and give it a thumbs up and become a regular visitor and supporter of my YouTube channel. I picked up two A3 size, that's a European dimension, self-healing cut-in mats. I have the blue ones on my desk. These are smaller size and I'll use that for some of the rough work that I do and keep the blue ones a little nicer. Got some replacement wire brushes. You know, they wear out after a little while and it's a dollar store. They're cheap. And also some replacement craft knives and blades. These are the consumable items that wear out. And I was very happy to find a real nice needle file set, a little bigger, a little heavier than what I already have. And those wear down after some time too, so that was a good find. Here are some hole punches. And I've got a couple of uses in mind for those. And hey, see this? Guys, flamethrower, sparker, because why not? I'm a guy. Makes fire. <laughs> Some refill masking tape. I, I think I'm out of the dollar store for that, but I'm throwing it into the tape part of the display here. Some sensitive masking tape, double-sided tape. These are all things you need. Now, I got a couple of desktop tripods and a selfie stick, and I want you to know if you ever see me downtown with a selfie stick, you can take it and hit me with it. I don't like that among all the tours, but I do want a cheap one just for my desktop. I film everything on my phone, and that's going to give you a couple of different angles and perspectives. And these, that were $1 each, all I want is this attachment arm on the top to fix what I already have. These are fine tip paint brushes. You're going to learn some German today. Pencil is a paintbrush. And I found some big intensity markers. Thank you, Jay, from JDC, for the tip on those. And Edding is a German brand. I guess it's basically the same thing. And you can't have too many markers, can you? In the automotive aisle, I found some shrink rack tubes. And these are going to be used 
uh, as an experiment on making tires. I'm 3D printing a lot of my own. That'll give it a real rubber edge. Q-tips. Plastic forks. What? These were 50 euro cents and I'm just going to cut the tangs off of these and use them for spikes on a gas lens build. And then I turn the corner, I'm in the plastics aisle, and I am a sucker for organizer boxes, especially in a dollar store, especially when they're matching and stackable, and you use your imagination. I'll put different things in there, sort my wheels or little doodads and accoutrements and different sizes, different shapes. I actually have an 80 liter plastic tub to hold all my plastic tubs <laughs> and these are the small ones where I put all of the disassembled car parts in while I'm working on a project so when the wheels come off and the windshields out and the beacons and sirens and all that stuff it's all in one place got 10 of those and 10 lids and here's a clear plastic dispenser and my idea for this is to put baking soda in it so I can a little more closely control where it lands on the project. Out of the paint stripping gel, my little 164 cars are going to go into these where the lid closes. Oh, I'm having a great time in this store. Paint mixing cups with lids. A selection of pipettes. You see the price? 55 euro cents. Why not for measuring paint? Always running out of super glue, and these are a dollar, so might as well get ten. And here is a, another surprise needle nose applicators. This will go on the end of the super glue tube and give me a little more accurate application. Target practice microfiber cloths. Always need wet wipes on the desk, on my hands, Ziploc bags, I've got different sizes of those to hold parts as well. Different town, different store, I actually found a hobby store in the town of Graz, Arnold Schwarzenegger's hometown, and I picked up some refills of the Tamiya paints. Now I can get all of the stuff that you can get on Amazon and eBay, but again, I have to pay international shipping to get it even from Germany. And that adds up with 250 per pickup. So I'm happy to find it and not have to pay that extra fee. Bonus purchase back in the Teddy store. Uh, two little mini spotlights. What am I going to do with these? Well, when it's time for glamour shots, I can put these out of camera range and hit the little car and hopefully get a non-shadowed glamour shot. I can use these at the edge of my dioramas as well. Gas lens, icy, deadly, boring drills on the front of a truck, don't you? Use your imagination. And I bought some sidewalk chalk. Again, everything is pennies in this store. My intent here is to shave these with a knife and hopefully it'll be a successful experiment on weathering powders. I'll let you know. I got axle tubes and axles in two different sizes. How big are they? I don't know. They're thin and thick. And here's a little tool. Now I've seen guys use the fencing pliers and I can get that as well. It cost me 50 euros over here. So here's a two dollar pair of pliers and I put a pinch on the end of that axle. What's wrong with that? Same effect. I just saved 50. Trust me honey, I saved you money today. Toothpicks. These are designer toothpicks. Next time Jim Silva says the gas lens build cannot have any printed parts, I can heavily weaponize my car with these, and point mine at his car and blow it away. <laughs> oh, Jim's a butt. That's more than I need, but it's a dollar store. Get them while you can. Super cheap 
rattle cans. I've already tried one of these on uh, chassis on the base of one of the cars I'm working on at the moment and it was fine. I don't think it's going to be the best top coat but for some black effects in small pieces I'll certainly give that a try. If I fail I'm out three euros. Some yellow and some British racing green while I was in that aisle and I can't get this in Switzerland. There's a liter times three of just rubbing alcohol. I've got a 3D printer and I use water washable resin, but I give it a spritz of rubbing alcohol to clean up and I'll fill one of these with the alcohol. I just wanted spray bottles and they're a couple dollars each, but in the Teddy store, they were 99 euro cents and they were filled with this kitchen cleaner solution and I was just going to dump it down the drain and I thought hey hang on because it was had a real potent smell toxic and I dropped a chrome interior and engine into one of these and in about two minutes it came out like that totally stripped so I found my super clean for a dollar you can't beat that we were gone for five weeks and when I got home the other day I had a bunch of Amazon orders ready to pick up. I have to drive across the Rhine River from Switzerland to Germany and pick up some of these supplies. So some chipping fluid and here, boys and girls, it's not a hobby for kids. This is iron 3 chloride. Talk about chipping. I've watched a couple of videos for inspiration and instruction on and this will actually dissolve the bare die cast and watching some upcoming videos for me and my heavy rubber gloves using the iron chloride. Our wire for Gaslands builds this came from a supply shop in uh, the UK I believe so that was waiting for me to pick up one more Tamiya paint. You no, know, you run out of these. Airbrush cleaner is a consumable as well. I always need more of that. Take good care of your airbrushes. Mine are not super expensive, but I really look after them well. So that's needed. For every time you use the jeweler saw, you break a blade and always needing replacements. Now here's a new project for me uh, and a new learning curve for the fall. I'm going to start building some dioramas. So I got some rectangular and round styrofoam parts. These will just be the bases. And I got a meter long piece of brick wall print. I'll use that sparingly. You know, so a parking lot, a, a garage diorama something like that. Balsa wood panels for the dioramas, also for the pickup truck beds. I've used popsicle sticks before, this will be good as well. And some army painter supplies. It'll just be some grassy tufts, some flocking, uh, grass and bushes and things like that. So I, I intend to uh, watch some more YouTube videos and learn this craft, which I think will add greatly to some of my builds. Different colored mosses that I can use. I think it'll be fun. My father-in-law in Austria is an avid model train builder and he has a room-sized diorama that he's built and so we had a great time together talking about this and he showed me some of his moves and actually gave me some supplies and recommended this and that here's some cheap acrylic paints that I can mix up I don't want to use my expensive ones dollar store one dollar each and I found these decorative stones crushed in different sizes three different grains 95 euro cents each even these larger ones one kilo wow so keep an eye out for some maple leaf dioramas probably this fall 
Thanks for dialing in today. I had a great time away. I hope your summer was outstanding as well. I hope you'll come back soon and often. It's coffee time. <laughs>